So here is the prototype, the very messy prototype of the smart compost system. Um, if you don't know, composting, um, there's quite a bit of science to it. Uh, compost needs to be between 110 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit to be uh, most effective. It also needs to be between 40 to 60 percent moist, so 40 to 60 percent wet, soil does, in order to make effective compost. For composting, we're looking for an aerobic and oxygen driven process versus an, an anaerobic process. The anaerobic processes are like landfills, those cause methane spikes. Um, this, uh, with oxygen, actually uses that oxygen um, with the, the nitrogen in the compost to, to break down the soil quickly and then and have less of a negative effect on our environment. So, Let's talk about our smart compost system. It's made up of four different sensors. We've got the temperature probe, which we use to measure the temperature, clearly. The moisture sensor for moisture. Um, the methane sensor. Uh, and then the nitrocyte range finder. And we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, in addition, we've got a couple of actuators as well. We have a servo. That servo is going to be attached to a pipe and it opens and closes based off of if air is needed. And then there is the... Uh, pump. So there's a water pump that um, pushes water into the compost if there's not enough moisture. And this ultrasonic finder it goes on top of a of a rain bucket or something sitting outside of the compost and it would uh, let the user know if more water was needed. So all these components you see are, are um, put out here. So we see our temperature is about 115 degrees. Um, we have no moisture, which just makes sense because we don't have that moisture sensor or anything. Our methane's 13.9 uh, um, ppm, which is just fine. Uh, that negative one means that we uh, need water, uh, which is which makes sense because we have it showing uh, in a, an empty cup. And then the servo is marked at zero. That means the server is closed, the vent is closed. Now I will show some experiments over, uh, you know, with some of the hot and the cold water to show you what happens as you make changes. Now, the first thing I've done is put the uh, moisture sensor in water. That is going to um, register um, that the soil is too wet and this servo is going to turn open. In theory, the servo is going to be attached to a pipe which goes through the compost and there'll be a cap on top and this, if this is closed, then this will move open and we would allow air to get through the, uh, through the compost. And as you can see, the servo has moved to open. And it's hard to tell now, but this again will be attached to a pipe. And if the pipe is on this side like this, then the cap will have switched open. Okay, so I've done a couple of things. I've taken the moisture sensor out the water, so it's sensing dry. I've then filled up this cup with water. So the ultrasonic sensor believes now that, the, uh, that there's water available and uh, the pump is here, and in a few minutes we should see the water going from the pump into the cup. So as you can see, the, we've added more water um, to the pipe. It was dry, we need that. And also, um, our servo moved back to being closed because our temperature is getting too cold. So I can put the temperature probe out. It's now below um, the optimal temperature. Therefore, it's closing because it needs to, I'm getting too much air in the, uh, in the compost. So uh, the next time you see these components, they will be in our prototype soil in our prototype container. And we will measure for a few weeks, see what happens.